My name is David L. Johnson. I'm an artist, uh, both from and based in New York City. Uh, most of the work I make has been, for the last number of years, really focused on the built environment of New York and deals with a kind of ongoing relationship between both observing, documenting, and um, in some cases intervening directly into different processes of change um, that happen in the city. I've been living in this apartment um, for my entire life. My family originally moved here in the 70s and through rent stabilization laws and tenant protection rights, they were able to continue to live here um, even as the neighborhood otherwise would have priced them out. And it's under those same protections that I've continued to be able to live and work here, um, both as an artist but also as a, as a person. Influxes of, of capital has brought um, just years and years of um, both myself and my family, but also seeing neighbors facing tenant harassment, being evicted through um, both, I mean, quote, legal, but also predominantly illegal evictions. And a lot of my work deals with um, a kind of ongoing relationship to the city and takes sometimes take a span of several years of either observing or looking at different sites um, or removing different objects incrementally. And having literally lived on the same block for close to three decades, that's really kind of created a, a really physical relationship with the way in which the city changes um, over the span of sometimes years, but even days. And for the last few years, I've been um, making a work called Voider that's um, comprised of the ongoing removal of uh, different forms of hostile architecture from the city. I think it's mostly associated probably with the types of spikes that are often put on um, benches or steps or on standpipes to prevent people from sitting, but it, um, or sitting or sleeping. But it also can be used really for any type of object um, that is obstructing um, the use of a particular space. And there are works that, when they're exhibited, they show up um, kind of in the form of sculptures um, that either hang on the wall or on the floor, usually at the level or roughly at the level that they were installed initially on the street. And um, Though, that they, though they have a physical presence in exhibition space, they also simultaneously exist as this sort of growing series of absences uh, across the city in the form of empty steps or, or benches or, or standpipes uh, that might have more possibility for um, forms of use such as, as loitering and how they exist on the street as these kind of quiet, less visible works is actually maybe where the work actually exists.